Welcome back to Happy Go London's with another video here. <sighs> Sorry guys, just keep only seeing me. Brady wishes that he could help out with these right now, but he is busy with housework and it is kind of running our lives right now. <laughs> Not ruining, running. <laughs> um, yeah, basically pretty much everything revolves around getting the house done so we can sell it and get on our way to the trail, which is the goal. So, um, yeah, sorry. But I did so you don't have to hear him banging around the background start filming these during the day when he is off at work and I'm working from home and working on the house. So that way, no banging and sawing and all that happening in the background. So, today, the sleep system. <laughs> sleep system. Start, I guess, from the underneath us to what's on top of us. Yeah. So, underneath us, we have the Nemo Tensor Insulated Sleeping Pads. They'll be warm. They are three inches thick, which is thicker than most when I was doing the research and looking for insulated pads, because we originally had um, and have used several times the um, accordion style Thermarest Z Light. Man, if you can sleep on that, you're a lot tougher than I am. I don't know. That literally, it feels like my body has been run over when I wake up from sleeping on that. It hurts so bad. Um, but I'm not a back sleeper ever. I am a side or a stomach sleeper. So, but I can sleep in a hammock on my stomach a whole lot more comfortably than I can sleep on that Thermalest, Thermarest Z light. Just doesn't work. So I looked for one that was thick. Um, so that way my hip bone and my shoulder don't dig into the ground when I sleep. Um, and so this is one of the thicker ones that I found. Um, also a little bit quieter because they're the material on top is different than um, some of the others that you see out there. I don't think it was the thickest one I saw. Um, the thickest I believe that I saw was 3.5, which I do also think was a different Nemo sleeping pad. Um, but yeah, three inches. We did opt for the insulated versions, just extra warmth, not get cold from underneath. Um, and the Brady has the long wide and I have the regular wide. I toss and turn like mad in my sleep so the regular size I often fall off of and I'm having to like climb back on every night uh, I mean like multiple times a night sorry multiple times a night so we figured that would probably be better for me and um, because we are sharing a sleeping bag this way we each have the same amount of space to sleep on because the um, long only comes in long wide and Brady is tall. So he had to have a long wide and then if I also have wide, then we have the same amount of sleep space. Um, just kind of, yeah, make it easier and fair, I guess. <laughs> so we have these. We also have um, Trek pillows. I believe they're Trekology, Trekology maybe. I, I could be wrong about that, um, but they're little pillows. No, they're Trekology. Um, you know those Amazon sales sometimes where they're like, flash sale, get this item for 10 bucks, but you have to purchase and basically if you don't see it, then you don't know it happened. Um, well, these were happening back in 2017. They were flash sale for 10 bucks, so we bought two of them. Um, and I will get it out of here eventually. We will not be carrying the stuff sacks. But this is Brady's, and he really cinched that up. Um, usually, if we get things 
we color, we get different colors. Um, so like, he usually opts for blue and I usually opt for green. Um, it's just how it goes. Um, oh, it's because that's, oh, so much easier. Okay, so this is his pillow. Um, I'll add the weight. Of course, I'll add the weights in the description for all of this stuff, um, but right now, I don't know for sure, like, this, we're not going to carry this, so what is the weight without this? And then the sleep pads, what of this system are we going to carry and what are we going to leave behind? I don't know those things yet, so I'll put the weights as is that I have weighed on my, like, food scale at home. Um, rather than the website weight, unless I haven't weighed it yet. <laughs> um, like the sleeping bag, I haven't weighed yet, so I'll just put the website weight. So yeah, pillows. Um, this is something that I can foresee myself ditching because I sleep with really thin pillows now as it is anyway. Um, but I'm gonna start with it because I feel like good sleep is gonna be hugely beneficial um just I struggle uh, struggle with insomnia and I'm a really light sleeper and all of that stuff so I don't want to add to all of that by being extremely uncomfortable um if I find like as time goes on and I'm exhausted that I don't need more comfort to be able to sleep, then I can always ditch items um, and send them home. But I don't wanna make that worse or make it harder to start out. So yeah, that is just my opinion. If you don't agree, let me know. <laughs> if you think that sleeping on the trail doesn't matter and that something else is more important, let me know. Um, I think there are a lot of things that are important, but I do think that if you can't sleep, then there's a lot of things not going to go well <laughs> for you. You know, you're more prone to injury if you're tired because you're not careful and all those things. So we want to sleep comfortably. <laughs> I'm not going to do this right now because that's going to take forever. So we'll just toss that get on to the sleep system. You know how things never go back in the bag the way that they were at first? Yeah, this is one of those. Here's one in the bag that hasn't been taken out yet. This one, I can't get it to go back in, so it's not. <laughs> um, but they are the Sea to Summit Silk Travel Liner, and they do, they are the ones that have a pillow insert. Um, mainly because I'm thinking kind of long term with this purchase. Um, well, Brady, it drives Brady insane when his pillow falls off of his sleeping pad. It drives him nuts. So he wanted it for that biggest purpose. I am still considering ditching my sleeping pillow. Like, I might ditch it. Um, I'll start with it, so it'll be nice at the start for sure. But I'm also thinking long term in that we um, plan to do some traveling in Southeast Asia and New Zealand. Australia. I don't know. We don't know what our plans really are yet. Um, sailboat, van life. Yeah, we don't know for sure. But I was thinking like hostels and kind of long term with when I picked which one. And also the silk ones were lighter weight than the others. So there is that factor too. Um, so yeah, this is one. This is Brady's. Um, which is open, the silk liner. They are super lightweight. They are not one that's gonna add warmth. They are just a liner, um, which will help us not have to wash our sleeping bag while on trail, um, and also help keep these guys cleaner. Um, and Brady doesn't like the feel of this or the sound yeah, and the feel of like rolling around on it. Um, or I get my like feet caught in um, the straps that s strap your sleeping pads together when you're sharing a quilt. <laughs> like, yeah, that's an, and then it like 
snaps, which is super loud and annoying. So yeah, it's so floaty. Don't you just love it? Yeah, anyway, all right. The last bit of our sleep system. Hopefully you can see that. It is the Enlightened Equipment Accomplice. I'm probably saying that wrong, but it's the double. And it's currently being stored in the like cotton storage thing that they give you. Um, it is the Accomplice. Yep, 850 down, down trek, down tech film. Yeah, 850, it's a 20 degree bag. It is the extra long because Brady is tall and Brady is also a side back semi stomach sleeper, but he's tall. Um, and yep, this is the bag. Um, <laughs> we, sorry. We have used it, but in nice or even hot temperatures. We have not tested it in the cold yet, which is on our to-do list, especially now that it's cold. Basically all the time, we just need to pick a night to go and test it. But yeah, um, this is our sleeping bag. One of us will carry this, um, and then probably whoever is not carrying this will carry the stove system, but that's just my guess right now and then we'll split our tent between the two of us because we are there there are two of us um and we can do that which is great so yeah that is our sleep system should be warm and cozy and comfortable and if we find that the sleeping bag is far too much um in the summer then we'll figure that out when it comes Right now, this is what we've got, and that is the plan. And hopefully it will keep us warm, which is why we really wanna test the whole sleep system in our tent in probably the backyard <laughs> um, in cold weather to just see how warm, warm we are and test our sleep clothing as well in doing that, all that good stuff. So yeah, that is it for now. The sleep sy system edition, AT. 2020 style <laughs> um yeah all right i'm gonna get off of here now and i hope to see you all out there bye